Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Classified information requested. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. Okay, so I'm I'm playing now Mass Effect Legendary Edition. This was actually PlayStation Plus February free game to those who are members of PlayStation plus and this belongs to essential so I think I take John Shepard there are three choices Jane Shepard or then third one but okay let's take John and maybe I hate I just Okay, or TV. Let's change. <laughs> we go. This Please way. log in to access your profile. And then X. Profile reconstruction complete. Okay, origin earth pawn, so survivor, soldier. Identification confirmed. And okay, let's look what do we have here. Combat difficulty, posse scaled up based on player's level. Some enemies have special protection. Auto level up. Points must be manually assigned using square screen each time shepherd or any squared member gains level. So maybe I first go with uh, manual. Level scaling, legendary mode. In classic mode, the original 160 level range will be used instead of the new 130 level range. XP and talent point progression remain the same, but the number of levels is doubled. And I want subtitles. Enable or disable subtitles. Squad AI will only use defensive power and maybe I go with defensive. Turn this on automatically. Uh, let's okay, let's go with these options. Well, what about Shepard? Earthborn, but no record of his family. Doesn't have one. He was raised on the streets, learned to look out for himself. He saw his whole unit die on the cruise. He could have some serious emotional scars. Every soldier has scars. Shepard's a survivor. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. In the year 2148, explorer on Mars discovered the remains of ancient spacefaring civilization. In the decades that followed, these mysterious artifacts revealed starting new technologies in open travel. Please. 
Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. <laughs> Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. You always expect the worst. Well, bad feelings are an occupational hazard. But we don't go anywhere unless there's a good reason, so... What are we doing here? Joko, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission report relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach each prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here. <laughs> Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the calm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? I'm on my way. Is it me or does the captain always sound a little pissed off? Only when he's talking to you, Joker. <laughs> Button to access mission computer and view tuner. Okay, let's look. Mission computer. We can save codex entries provide as in additional but non essential information about topics of interest in Mass Effect. Okay, so let's look tuner. Rollo on the Normandy, you are Lieutenant Commander Shepard, Executive, Executive Officer on the SSV Normandy. And what about Codex? Personal History Summary The Alliance is the government and military of humanity beyond so. Okay, here we get history. 2069 Armstrong outpost at Shackleton Crater becomes the first human settlement on the Luna. It's formally founded on July 24, the 100th anniversary of the first lunar landing. 2103 lower city in years. Kasma becomes the first human settlement on the March 2137. Elfell Arsland Energy Corporation demonstrates helium 3 fuel extraction from the atmosphere of Saturn. 2142 construction of Cochrane Station Jump Zero begin beyond the orbit of Pluto. 2148 Prospectus discovers the Proteinian ruins at Promethe Plan on Mars 2149. Translation of Proteinian data leads humans to current mass relay 
system alliance found it to coordinate exploration and colonization of extra solar worlds, 2151. Shipping accident at Singapore International Space Sport exposes the downwind communities to contents of dust form elemental zero. The license begins construction of Arcturus Station. 2152, roughly 30% of the children born in Singapore after element zero exposure suffer from cancerous growth. System Alliance begins settlements towards first solar colon world per Demeter. 2145, commander separate born. 2155, Systems Alliance occupies completed portions of Arcturus Station as headquarters. 2156, some children of Singapore exhibit minor telekinetic abilities. 2157, Turians encounter human explorers. First conduct for occupation and liberation of human colonial sanctuary. 2158, humans learned potential of politics and international effort to track elementary zero exposure begins. Roughly 10% of exposed children show some level of biotic ability. 2160, system alliance parliament formed. 2165, humans establish impassion citadel. 2170, Batarian slave attack to Alliance Colony of Window. 2176, Sclam pirates and laborers attack to Elysium, to human capital in the Sclam words. 1177, Tresum War, Alliance of Colony of 2178, in retaliation for the Skillian Blitz, an alliance fleet wipes out an army of slavers on the moon of Fort of Karen Trade, 1183. Okay, then we have squad. The squad screen lets you view your team talents. Use directional keys to select the talent or its rank. Press X to spend talent point to gain a rank in the selected talent. As you gain levels, you will acquire talent points and unlock higher ranks. Haha, <laughs> we still have three points. Only available when using pistols. Boost accuracy to 60 increases damage. 25 increases headshot damage. 50. What else we have? We have assault rifle. Then we have combat armor. And assault training increases weapon damage by one. Soldier increases health by four. Okay, this is also sounds nice. It generates three health per sec. Okay, here we get new dialogue options. Set intimidate score opens new dialogue options. Maybe I take one over here, then I I want my pistol. Okay, one for pistol. And maybe I take a soul train. Okay. What about then? Okay, we have delivered all those points. And then there is also only undo talent points or back. But there is no confirmation button. So okay, let's go back. And let's see again. Okay. So you don't 
need to conform, you just deliver points and leave or go back. So that is enough. And we are level 1. So okay, points were delivered. What about options? Okay, graphics, calibration, sound, controls, gameplay. And then what about equipment? The equipment screen allows you to equip and upgrade gear for your squad. Place the cycle item times. So there are directional buttons. Breaks it down the selected item. Uh -huh. Okay, we have shotgun. Yeah, pistol. We have grenades, armor. Then we have a short rifle. We have shotgun, pistol. Okay. Then what else? We have map here. And okay, our destination is over there. Okay, so let's go. You probably don't want to keep the captain waiting, Commander. Always want to examine everything. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down in engineering didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. I grew up on Eagle Prime Dog. It's not the kind of place Spectre's visit. There's some Nihilus isn't telling us about this mission. That's crazy. The captain's in charge here. He wouldn't take orders from Spectre. Not his choice, Doc. Spectres don't answer to anything. They can do whatever they want. Kill anyone who gets in their way. <laughs> you watch too many spy rates, Jenkins. What do you, do you think, think Commander? Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. <laughs> Only, a Only a fool goes looking for a fight, Corporal. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. Just treat this like every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself on a coup. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, sir. I'm not gonna screw this up. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. What about? 
I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. I've never been there. But you know of it. It's become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? If you've got something to say, just say it. Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. Is someone gonna fill me in, Captain? We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operation. There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Are we expecting trouble? I'm always expecting trouble. There's more, Shepard. Nihilus isn't just here for the beacon. He's also here to evaluate you. What's going on, Captain? The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. Not many could have survived what you went through on Akuz. You showed a remarkable will to live, a particularly useful talent. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Just tell me what I have to do. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden Prime. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. traffic at all. Just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold the 38.5. Status, Status report. 17, 17 minutes out, Captain. Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. 
Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Violet, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. Ready and able, sir. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! We are approaching drop point two. Without spare, you can hold your weapon and then put it back. Advantage with weapons. First man down. Sometimes Marines die. The rest of us just have to carry on. We still have to find that beacon. Aye, aye, sir. Medicaid girl is needed to heal injured squad members. Only care can be used to bypass decryption. Press triangle to get medi. Triangle, you can heal. I've got 
As you can level your squad screen to improve it. I'm going to try to catch up with you at the dig site. Did we already get enough points? Oh, we got two points more. Aha, these are different kind of points. I'll make that take first aid. And take, now take barrier. Post your seed sweet. Biotic barriers that will absorb up to 400 points of damage. Let's take save. <laughs> okay. Direction of these you orders to your squad. Attack your target. Seems to be different routes. I check this. What is over here? Ah, oh, we found medical gear.
there is upgrade kit. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, sir? Give me a status report, Williams. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Any idea what kind of enemy we're facing? I think they're Geth. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, sir. It's time for payback. Move out. Okay, we got one member more. Press button to access missions complete. Then go to the squad screen to spend t talent points. Okay, again. Aha, okay, now we got Williams. Aha. Kaidan Shepard. So we can get two points and I think we give for pistol one. And then armor. LT Shepard. Okay. LT Ashley. If you do, those points are delivered, and maybe I take save again. We have more members. The beacons at the far end of this trench. Ah, uh, we got light armor, human, scorpion one. To change your team's equipment, press. And okay, then again. Equipment and then upgrades square. Okay, but it was not weapon. Storm. Assault. Okay, it was armor. Was we select from this wheel? Armor or weapon? Then again, square to upgrade. Okay, there is not nothing over here. But let's select Ashley. Then. Armor and a square. Ah. Here. Okay, now we have a scorpion one. Light armor human. It's already. What about Shepard? Ah, Shepard also have light armor. Scorpion one. Okay, we got it. New armor type.
approaching low objects will make you crouch the cover behind it. I just check what I got. So let's again look equipment, assault rifle, assault gun, askimita, striker, one is pistol. Lancer Gale one you get the details Storm Standard issue shortcut for the systems Alliance Navy it's reliable and accurate when compared to the shotguns in each class. What about this pistol Kessler? Kessler is standard issue sidearm for the systems alliance navy. It's relatively moderately accurate when compared to other sidearms in its class. Sniper rifle, Avenger. 
Arriba. Are too different? Or oh, actually, Reaper one. Sniper rifle, Avenger one. Also, sniper rifle. And okay, now I, there is actually X. There are two possibilities. This is more ac Avenger is more accurate, but less damage per second and less heat sink. We have only one grenade launcher. Uh, aha. Okay, over here we have two different. We are currently equipped with Onyx One medium armor, human. And then we have Scorpion One, but it's actually light armor. It has a little bit more shield, but damage protection is a little bit less. And Scorpion One has biotic protection. What about here? We only have one assault rifle. So there are choices, but okay, I will, I will still go with these old ones. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. of Crown Team drop on to Eden Prime and Alliance co Colony under attack. Your primary goal is to find a secure protein beacon. Oh, it was the codex. Aha, there are aliens, council raisins, three most politically important species in the galaxy. Roughly 1200 years ago, the Turians were invited to join the Citadel Council to fulfill the role of galactic peacekeepers. The Turians have the largest fleet in Citadel space, and they make up the single largest portion of the Council's military forces. As their territory and influence has spread, the Turians have come to rely on the Salarians for military intelligence and the Asari for diplomacy. Despite a somewhat colonial attitude towards the rest of the galaxy, the ruling hierarchy understands they would lose more than they would gain if the other two races were ever removed. Turians come from an autocratic society that values discipline and possesses a strong sense of personal and collective honor. There is lingering animosity between Turians and humans over the First Contact War of 2157 which is known as the Relay 314 incident to the Turians. Officially, however, the two species are allies, and they enjoy civil, if cool, diplomatic relations.
Roughly 1,200 years ago. Roughly 1,200 years ago. Okay, non-council races. The Geth are a humanoid race of networked AIs. They were created by the Quarians 300 years ago as tools of labor and war. When the Geth showed signs of self-evolution, the Quarians attempted to exterminate them. The Geth won the resulting war. This example has led to legal, systematic repression of artificial intelligences in galactic society. The Geth possess a unique distributed intelligence. An individual has rudimentary animal instincts, but as their numbers and proximity increase, the apparent intelligence of each individual improves. In groups, they can reason, analyze situations, and use tactics, as well as any organic race. Geth space is located at the trailing end of the Perseus arm, beyond the lawless Terminus systems. The Perseus veil, an obscuring dark nebula of opaque gas and dust, lies between their space and the Terminus systems. Spectres are agents from the Office of Special Tactics and Reconnaissance and answer only to the Citadel Council. They are elite military operatives, granted the authority to deal with threats to peace and stability in whatever way they deem necessary. They operate independently or in groups of two or three. Some are empathetic peacekeepers, resolving disputes through diplomacy. Others are cold-blooded assassins, ruthlessly dispatching problem individuals. All get the job done one way or another, often operating outside the bounds of galactic law. The Spectres were founded after the Salarians joined the Council. For many years they operated in secrecy as backroom problem solvers. Only after the Krogan rebellions did their activities become publicized. Assignment of a Spectre is less contentious than a military deployment, but makes it clear that the Council is concerned about a situation. The Systems Alliance is an independent supranational government representing the interests of humanity as a whole. The Alliance is responsible for the governance and defense of all extrasolar colonies and stations. The Alliance grew out of the various national space programs as a matter of practicality. Sol's planets had been explored and exploited through piecemeal national efforts. The expense of colonizing entire new solar systems could not be met by any one country. With humans knowing that alien contact was inevitable, there was enough political will to jointly fund an international effort. Still, the Alliance was often disregarded by those on Earth until the first contact war. While the national governments dithered and bickered over who should lead the effort to liberate Shanxi, the Alliance fleet struck decisively. Post-war public approval gave the Alliance the credibility to establish its own parliament and become the galactic face of humanity. Combat hard suits use a dual layer system to protect the wearer. The inner layer consists of fabric armor with kinetic padding. Areas that don't need to be flexible, such as the chest or shins, are reinforced with sheets of lightweight ablative ceramic. The outer layer consists of automatically generated kinetic barriers. Objects traveling above a certain speed will trigger the barrier's reflex system and be deflected, provided there is enough energy left in the shield's power cell. Armored hard suits are sealable to protect the wearer from extremes of temperature and atmosphere. Standard equipment includes an onboard mini-frame and a communications, navigation, and sensing suite. The mini-frame is designed to accept and display data from a weapon's smart targeting system to make it easier to locate and eliminate enemies. Small break.
And okay, back. Okay, let's continue. Here is something new. Looks like they hit the camp hard. It's a good place for an ambush. Keep your guard up. Doesn't look good. Oh god, they're still alive. What did the Geth do to them? Uh huh, we got to level up. So it's good idea to can uh -huh, more points. And maybe it might be a good idea to use a sword rifle. Then combat armor. A sword training. And sword. Sword. I take one more to sword. Then R2 to Kaidan. Ah, Kaidan. What is here? Increases the force. Okay, let's put over here to the barrier increases deck mine explosion ah this is also but I put this time here what is sentinel reduces the cooldown time of throw lift barrier and stasis by three I take this also. Then air to Ashley. Okay, over here is a kino. I put Said a lot with pistols in animes. Shield boost restores a portion of your shields even while you are under fire. There is a upgrade kit. Ah, 
Mr. Reaper Vana and Survivor 2. Okay, let's take everything. But this Survivor 2 yeah, is interesting. Okay, we have Striker Vana, Kessler Vana. Uh, survivor 2 is also medium armor and it seems to be better so let's equip it okay now we have survivor what about if we change to Kaiden aha there was, there was only one survivor. Okay, we get pet armor. If any squad member has the required talent, you will be able to unlock the object using the decryption or electronics interface by spending Omnicare. Electronics interface or by spending. Repeat the sequence of buttons presses before time expires. Picking manual override. Okay, so what it was kind of combination of patterns. Fumes. Thank, Thank the maker. Hurry, close the door before they come back. What are you doing here? I'm Dr. Warren. I was in charge of this excavation. We hid in the shed during the attack. They must have come for the beacon. Luckily it wasn't here. It was moved to the spaceport earlier this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity has ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses remain. Uh, there is always this investigate. Dr. Mano, no one is saved. The age of humanity. Ah, okay, it was. It was such as you can go back. If you choose investigate. Williams, take us to the spaceport. You can't stop it. Nobody can stop it. Night is falling. The darkness of eternity. Hush, Manuel. Go lie down. You'll feel better once the medication kicks in. Okay, you managed to... Search and explore this one.
This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. <laughs> Okay, that's what sound good. What is that? Oh, look at this. Look at this design. Okay, the other one you could change weapon. survived Commander, it's Nihilus. Okay, we get more medical.
Centurion? You know him? He's a Spectre. He was with us in the war. Something's moving. Over behind those crates. Wait! Don't! Don't shoot! I'm one of you! I'm human! What are you doing sneaking around back there? I am sorry. I was hiding from those creatures. My name is Pal. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. You're saying Nihilus was murdered by a Turian? The other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. I, I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. Where'd Saren go after he killed Nihilus? He jumped on the cargo train and headed over to the other platform. Probably going after the beacon. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I had been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I, I, I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I, I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. You survived because you're lazy? If you hadn't snuck off for that nap, you'd probably be dead just like all the others. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I don't really want to think about it. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. Take the cargo train. Sounds of crown. Yeah, I know what this. Combat hard.
they have these kind of special things blue wire tool shield and what about actually it seems that okay also we have found a special member who has special equipment want to bring a power wheel the power wheel lets you use powers and special use air to aim target select power uh, power width and press X to use it this is what we have here Use overkill, use shield boost, sabotage, throw, barrier recharge.
Here we get the driving. Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. Demolition charges. The guest must have planted them. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down.
<laughs> okay, this seems to be fast action, what you need to manage to do very fast. Demolition charges! The guests must have planted them! Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down! First one, we have three more. Ah, now I, I forget this one. Somewhere here. Okay, over here. Okay, we managed to clear all. One hidden weapon location. Okay, it must be full fun. one weapon location somewhere. Ah, 
there is this beacon but before I just there might be okay this was the one what I was looking for Panacea assault rifle Just check what do I have? Okay, Panashi. It does more damage, but heating capacity is less, accuracy is less. Then Skimita is. Okay, this is pistol type. Less accuracy. But it's a little bit less. No, I think it has. Maybe I changed this one equip. And then, okay, these are armor types. Okay, let's go with this. Uh, let's take save because we managed to disarm explosives. And I'll just check <laughs> is there any more codex? Okay, those we know. What about now? Right, okay, with this we know. Okay, let's check this. Normandy, the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. middle we identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime the Normandy a human alliance vessel it was under the command of Captain Anderson they managed to save the colony and the beacon one of the humans may have used it mm -hmm. This is Saren who shot, shot the previous. Doctor, Doctor Chakwas, I think he's waking up. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? How did I end up here? 
How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. Where's the beacon now? What happened to it? The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. The blast knocked you cold. The lieutenant and I carried you back here to the ship. I appreciate it. Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Science typically associated with intense dreaming. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death? Destruction? Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. Captain Anderson. How's our XO holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the commander's going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? Chief Williams isn't part of the Normandy crew. I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Gether invading. The Council's going to want answers. The Geth would have wiped out the whole colony if I hadn't stopped them. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren. That other Turian. Saren's a spectre, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue spectre's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how, I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. What are we gonna tell him? I had a bad dream? We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Sarah took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation, his politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack is an act of war. He has the secrets from the Beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere. Do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side.
We prove Saren's gone rogue, and the Council will revoke his Spectre status. I'll contact the Ambassador, and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. Okay, it's a small break. Alright, okay, I'm back. Alright, just check this. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. Part of me feels guilty over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might not be here. You're a good soldier, Williams. You belong on the Normandy. Thanks, Commander. I appreciate that. I need to go speak with Joker. Goodbye, Commander. Glad to see you're okay, Commander. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Good chunk. Okay. 
my little codex. The Citadel is an ancient deep space station, presumably constructed by the Protheans. Since the Prothean extinction, numerous species have come to call the Citadel home. It serves as the political, cultural, and financial capital of the galactic community. To represent their interests, most species maintain embassies on the Presidium, the Citadel's inner ring. The Citadel Tower in the center of the Presidium holds the Citadel Council Chambers. Council affairs often have far-reaching effects on the rest of the galactic community. Five arms, known as the wards, extend from the Presidium. Their inner surfaces have been built into cities, populated by millions of inhabitants from across the galaxy. The Citadel is virtually indestructible. If attacked, the station can close its arms to form a solid, impregnable shell. For as long as the station has existed, an enigmatic race called the Keepers has maintained it. The Citadel Spectres are... Combat hard suits use kinetic barriers, more commonly called shields, provide protection against most mass accelerator weapons. Whether on a starship or a soldier's suit of armor, the basic principle remains the same. Kinetic barriers are repulsive mass effect fields projected from tiny emitters. These shields safely deflect small objects traveling at rapid velocities. This affords protection from bullets and other dangerous projectiles, but still allows the user to sit down without knocking away their chair. The shielding afforded by kinetic barriers does not protect against extremes of temperature, toxins, or radiation. Medigel is a common medicinal salve used by paramedics, EMTs, and military personnel. It combines several useful applications, a local anesthetic, disinfectant, and clotting agent all in one. Once applied, the gel is designed to grip tight to flesh until subjected to a frequency of ultrasound. It is sealable against liquids, most notably blood, as well as contaminants and gases. The gel is a genetically engineered bioplasm created by the CERTA Foundation, a medical technology megacorp based on Earth. Technically, Metagel violates council laws against genetic engineering, but to date, it has proved far too useful to ban. Kinetic combat hard suits use a dual layer suit. The, cit the Citadel is an... After the Geths secure a location, they round up an impaled dead and living bodies on mechanical spikes. The spikes rapidly transform these victims into withered husks, extracting water and trace minerals, and replacing them with cybernetics. The cybernetics reanimate the lifeless flesh and tissue, transforming the bodies into mindless killing machines. Some Alliance soldiers refer to the husk-generating spikes as dragon's teeth. A reference to the mythological berserkers who sprang up from the earth wherever the teeth of the dragon Eris were planted. Dragon's teeth and husks bear little resemblance to other pieces of Geth technology. 
No one is sure why a synthetic race would bother to drain the minuscule amount of recoverable resources from organic corpses, though the value of reusing them as shock troops is obvious. The Geth. The Geth are a humanoid. Roughly. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. Losing Jenkins is hard enough on the road. Okay, here we go, see Kalax map. Ah, here we get also Cortex. information sent where the commanding officer I'm glad you're okay commander Losing Jenkins was hard enough on Get this course down. Timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. sizes and everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower, too. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side, then. Citadel Control, this is SSD Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. Normandy out. Alliance Tower, please proceed to Dock 422.
This is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue Spectre. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Seren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you have any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. Seren's a threat to every human colony out there. If they don't stop him, I will. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the Deacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not his. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. The Citadel is an ancient... The Council is an executive committee composed of representatives from the Asari Republics, the Turian Hierarchy, and the Salarian Union. Though they have no official power over the independent governments of other species, the Council's decisions carry great weight throughout the galaxy. No single Council race is strong enough to defy the other two, and all have a vested interest in compromise and cooperation. Each of the Council species has general characteristics associated with the various aspects of governing the galaxy. The Asari are typically seen as diplomats and mediators. The Salarians gather intelligence and information. The Turians provide the bulk of the military and peacekeeping forces. Any species granted an embassy on the Citadel is considered an associate member, bound by the accords of the Citadel conventions. Associate members may bring issues to the attention of the Council, though they have no input on the decision. The Human Systems Alliance became an associate member of the Citadel in 2165. You have to prove to Citadel Council that Saren, one of the Spectre Ancients, has gone rogue. Okay. Alliance Patrol Report, Captain Hendrix 
Nixon reported some unusual energy readings during a patrol of Argon Row cluster. She had particular concerns about the Hydra system, but was recalled before her team could investigate further. No patrols are scheduled for that sector. Do we want to send in a recon team? readings. It is an assignment part. I just look map. Maybe I just visit here first. Sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. You seem distressed. Is there something I can do to help? Alarmed response. You overheard that, did you? This is all going so wrong, and it is the Asari consort's fault. She's the one who started all this. What did this Asari do to get you so upset? I cannot speak more about this problem. It is too sensitive. Suffice it to say, she has compromised my authority as a diplomat. Where can I find this Asari consort? She is across the bridge from here. Her offices are easy enough to spot. Good day, human. Earth Clan, you are in the wrong place, I think. Your ambassador is next door in the large office. Chastising remark. Don't be so rude, Dan. At least introduce yourself. <sighs> I am Din Korlak, Volus Ambassador. Is there something I can do for you, Earth Clan? Goodbye, Ambassador. Yes, yes. Good day, Earth Clan. Please greeting. Human, it is always good to see your kind. I am Ambassador Kalen. Genuine query. Is there something I can do for you this day? Goodbye, Ambassador. Sincere farewell. Good day to you, human. Enjoy your time on the Citadel. She met the piano to way. Ah, it's opposite this it is. Just a moment. Ah, it's blue one. 
Okay, you're actually the blue one. And then there is office room. And this we already visited. Okay, office. point of interest. I just check the squad. Good day, Commander. The human ambassador is up the stairs, first room on the right. You know who I am? Yes, I receive reports on all newly arrived dignitaries and notable people. I should be going now. Have a pleasant day. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. Greetings and welcome to the Presidium. My name is Avina and I am pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this level of the Citadel Space Station. What does that mean? I am a fully interactive virtual intelligence, programmed to provide spontaneous guidance at predetermined locations of interest throughout this level of the Citadel. I may also be contacted through any of the Presidium VI terminals, should you require assistance. Give me the tour. You are standing at Presidium Tourism Terminal 1. On either side of this lobby are the embassies of the various Citadel races, along with CSEC headquarters. On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. Goodbye. Goodbye, and thank you for using Avina. Please enjoy your visit to the Citadel. This embassy. There's a room without the name, like diploma. Destructive potential of dreadnoughts. The council raises a creed at the Farix and Naval Conference to fix a race of dreadnought construction between themselves. On top of the pyramid is the peacekeeping 
Turian fleet below the Turians are the, are the council races currently as Assyrian Salarians. Council of races are at the bottom. The human system alliance is the part of this last group. The reason of Turian to council associate red nodes is 531. For every red node, humans are permitted to build us, we have 3 and Turians 5. I can't believe I landed a job here. This place is fantastic. Sector headquarters. Commander Shepard, I didn't expect to see you here. Did Ambassador Udina send you? Have we met before? No, but I know you well enough. I'm Executive Powell, head of CSEC. It's my job to know when someone like you arrives on the Citadel. Was there something you needed, Commander? I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Oh, we can. Easy decryption. Diplomatic advisor warning. The following message was transmitted from an untraceable account to multiple recipients across the extranet. First monitoring of the situation is frontier. My fellow Pyotic, you have been selected to receive this transmission because of our shared plight. We understand us, we uh, tolerate us. We must stand together, we must build our own new world. Come join us in the Hawking Eta Cluster. Only as one body can we right the wrongs done to our kind. Ah, we got shown. Launch. This place seems strange. Wish there were more humans around. Don't believe the rumors. Consort would never reveal her secrets. Of course she would. She'd be tossed out the nearest airlock if she did. Uh, I suppose. Besides, Nick, the consort's nothing like the girls back on the colonies. She's. She's. You don't have to do it with her. You can just talk to her if you want. <laughs> Is that all you did, Jazz? Just talk? I didn't say that. Ha! <laughs> I bet you did too. What do you want? Oh, Commander. Is there something I can do for you? 
Relax, Private. This isn't an inspection. Right. Sorry. What can I do for you, Commander? What can you tell me about the Asari Consulate? I, uh... Well, she's an Asari who works here as... That is, she helps people with... things. You never went to see her, did you, Fredericks? I, uh... No, I never did. I couldn't afford it. It costs half a year's credits just to go in and talk to her. Can you at least tell me where I can find her? Sure. She's across the bridge from the embassy. Thanks, kid. Have fun. Try not to get into too much trouble. I will. Have fun, then. I don't have time to talk now. I'm very busy. Hello, Commander. Can I get you something? What have you got? Information, mostly. Would you like to know about some points of interest nearby? What's going on around here? Well, you found the embassies. Not much going on here. Across the bridge, you'll find the bank, the Emporium, and Shaira's. If you haven't heard of her, you soon will. If you need supplies, you can try the markets one level below. For entertainment, I'd try Flux or Cora's Den. Goodbye. So long, Commander. Have a pleasant day. You know, they are all left and right. Maybe I first explore this area. It goes to the docking pay.
hotel is rapid transit. Search on campus. Check this. Welcome, I am Nilina. I don't recognize you as one of our expected clients today. Would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you? Can't I just go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many who seek the consort services. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. Commander Shepard, with the Alliance Navy. Excellent. You should hear something in... Um, three or four months. Nobody's worth that much of a wait. <laughs> well, that's not for me to judge. I have your name, and you'll be contacted. Is there anything else? I think I'm done here. Oh, well, I hope you'll return again in the future. We always enjoy seeing new clients. Nalina. Yes, Shaira? Send the commander up to see me. I wish to speak with him. Yes, of course, mistress. Huh. It appears the consort has taken notice of you. She'd like to meet with you now. Where do I go? Just head upstairs. She'll be waiting for you. I see even the humans find the consort irresistible. This is my first time. I can't believe I didn't come sooner. That is close enough, Commander. I've heard a great many things about you since your arrival here in our citadel. You wanted to speak with me? I have a certain problem that could use your expertise. Maybe I can help. I have a friend, Septimus, a retired Turian general. I won't discuss the details, but he wanted me to be more than I could be. We had a falling out. Now he spends his days in Korra's den, drinking and spreading lies about me. 
If you would speak to him as a fellow soldier, I believe he will listen to you and let the matter be. I don't make any promises, but I'll see what I can do. Thank you, Commander. That is all I can ask. Appeal to his sense of honor. Remind him of his position as a general. If you can convince him to stop spreading lies about me, I would be very grateful. Now I must ask you to take your leave. I have many clients waiting to see me. Welcome to Presidium Tourism Terminal 3. Here in the Financial District, a number of businesses offer various goods and services to their exclusive clientele. The statue you see before you was commissioned to honor the Krogan soldiers who gave their lives to protect Citadel space during the Rachni Wars. In the aftermath of the Krogan rebellions, several embassies petitioned to have the statue removed. However, this motion was eventually quashed by the Council. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. This one is greatly pleased to see you here in my decadent emporium. Who are you? This one's face name is Delaninder, though many in this place simply refer to it as Delan. Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase, all of great worth. Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. Okay, three thousand five hundred. Upon our upgrade heatsink, I have what? At the moment, 1,280. Special properties. Cryo explosives to grenade. Phasic surround to. Instead of projectiles. Upgraded weapon release charge particle bolts that can bypass kinetic barrier seals. However, the actual damage done to the target is typically less than what's done by standard foot round. Okay, I buy this.
Oh, get it back. What's this? One of the Earth Clan. Ah, a very famous one, yes? You are the one called Shepherd. The tale of how you survived the great tragedy on Akuz is truly remarkable. I am amazed each time I hear it. You've got me at a disadvantage here. Forgive me, Earth Clan. My name is Barla Vaughn. My job makes it necessary for me to keep informed. I am a financial advisor to many important clients here on the Citadel. When someone as important as yourself arrives on the station, I take notice. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Welcome to Presidium Tourism Terminal 2. You are standing near the base of the Citadel Tower, one of the Presidium's most recognizable and important structures. Behind me is the Spectacular Relay Monument, a scale model representation of a Prothean mass relay. To your left is one of the Keepers, the enigmatic caretakers of the Citadel, working on a control panel. You may see Keepers involved in various tasks throughout all levels of the Citadel. We ask that you do not interfere with them in any way. The Keepers are essential to the smooth operation of the Citadel. Obstructing their daily work will result in harsh penalties, including incarceration and rehabilitation. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. Citadel Tower. Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council? Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vakarian. 
I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Sarah. Come across anything I should know about? Saren's a spectre. Most of his activities are classified. I couldn't find anything solid. But I know he's up to something. Like you humans say, I feel it in my gut. I think the Council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. I'm waiting to speak with one of the Council's assistants. Commander? No, I just want to ask a couple of questions. The hearing's already started. Come on. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. You're the one who destroyed the beacon. Then you tried to cover it up. Shift the blame to cover your own failures. Just like Captain Anderson. He's taught you well. But what can you expect from a human? Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that! That's not his decision! Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor. And mine. You can't hide behind the Council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath.
The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. This meeting is adjourned. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Seren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Seren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. Tell me about this history between you and Seren. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. Things went bad. Real bad. We shouldn't talk about this here. But I know what he's like. And he has to be stopped. What's our next step? As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with him. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. I'll take care of it. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Sarah. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Balavan's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren, but his information won't come cheap. You and Saren have a history. What happened? About 20 years ago, I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Saren eliminated his target. But a lot of people died along the way. Innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up. But I saw how he operates. No conscience. No hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. Killing innocents doesn't end wars. It causes them. I know how the world works, Commander. Sometimes you're forced to make unpleasant decisions. But only if there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. He's twisted, broken. He likes the violence, the killing. And he knows how to cover his tracks. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the Ambassador's office if you need anything else. The Asari were the first spe the second species to join the Citadel. The Salarians are warm-blooded amphibians with a hyperactive metabolism. Salarians think fast, talk fast, and move fast. To Salarians, other species seem sluggish and dull-witted. Unfortunately, their metabolic speed leaves them with a relatively short lifespan. Salarians over the age of 40 are a rarity. The Salarians were responsible for advancing the development of the primitive Krogan species to use as soldiers during the Rachni Wars. They were also behind the creation of the Genophage bioweapon the Turians used to quell the Krogan Rebellion several centuries later. Salarians are known for their observational capability and non-linear thinking. 
This manifest is an aptitude for research and espionage. They are constantly experimenting and inventing, and it is generally accepted that they always know more than they are letting on. Roughly 12... The, the Asari were the first species to discover the citadel. When the Salarians arrived, it was the Asari who proposed the establishment of the Citadel Council to maintain peace throughout the galaxy. Since then, the Asari have served as the mediators and centrists of the Council. An all-female race, the Asari reproduce through a form of parthenogenesis. They can attune their nervous system to that of another individual of any gender and of any species to reproduce. This capability has led to the unseemly and inaccurate rumors about Asari promiscuity. Asari can live for over a thousand years, passing through three stages of life. In the maiden stage, they wander restlessly, seeking new knowledge and experience. When the matron stage begins, they meld with interesting partners to produce their offspring. This ends when they reach the matriarch stage, where they assume the roles of leaders and counselors. Is there something you want? Why are you so interested in the Keepers? Keepers? I've got no interest in the Keepers. Don't get coy. I know what I saw. I, uh... I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. Just tell me what you're doing. I'm not here to get you into trouble. All right. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the Keepers. So far I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well, technically we're not supposed to disturb the Keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them, but the authorities might disagree. I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested over. I could help you out. I'm not worried about the authorities. I don't even know who you are. I'm Commander Shepard, with the Alliance Military. Hmm. Well, I, I suppose I could use the help. You'll need this. It's the scanning device I developed. Activate it each time you see a Keeper. All collected data will automatically upload to my database. I'll even send a few credits your way for each unique scan. What are you doing with the data once you've scanned it? Trying to learn whatever I can about the Keepers. We see them working everywhere, yet we know so little about them. I'm a scientist. I want to know what makes them tick. I should get going with it. Yes, I have much work myself. So long, and good luck with the scanning. The Geth. When the Asari discovered the Citadel, they also discovered the Keepers, a docile, multi-limbed insect race that seemingly exists only to maintain and repair the Great Prothean Station. Early attempts to communicate with or study the Keepers were failures, and it is now illegal to interfere with or impede Keeper activity. Because they are completely non-threatening, Keepers have become virtually invisible to everyone else. Similarly, they seem indifferent to other species, except for their tendency to help new arrivals integrate themselves into the Citadel. 
No matter how many keepers die due to old age, violence, or accident, they maintain a constant number. No one has discovered the source of new keepers, but some hypothesize they are genetic constructs, biological androids created somewhere deep in the inaccessible core of the citadel itself. A virtual intelligence is an advanced form of user interface software. VIs use a variety of methods to simulate natural conversation, including an audio interface and an avatar personality to interact with. Although a VI can provide a convincing emulation of sentience, they are not self-aware, nor can they learn or take independent action. VIs are used as operating systems on commercial and home computers. Minimal VI agents are also available. Agents are compact and specialized. Some serve as personal secretaries, filtering calls and scheduling meetings based on user-defined priorities. Others are advanced search engines, propagating themselves across the extranet to collate user-requested data. Commercial VIs in a variety of stock personalities are available at any software retailer. Boutique firms and hobbyists also build unique VIs to personal specification. Although software emulation of living personalities is illegal, reconstructions of famous historical figures are common. the keepers.
Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? Are there laws being broken here? I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. If you'd like, I could talk to the Hanner for you. I have argued with the stubborn jelly all afternoon. You are certainly welcome to try. desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? Why is the CSEC officer harassing you? The CSEC officer requests that this one purchase an evangelical permit to spread the truth of the Enkindlers. Let me talk to the CSEC officer. Perhaps I can explain the situation. This one would be most grateful for the assistance. Please let this one know if success is achieved. Any progress with that Hanar? I think you should let the Hanar preach in the Presidium. The Presidium is a place of culture and respect. It should not be filled with zealots shouting their idiocy. Why should the jellies get special treatment? Every other species understands and obeys the laws. If I purchased the evangelical permit myself, would that take care of things? As long as it stays in approved areas once it has the permit, yes. That would solve the issue for me. I'll be back. I don't care what you have to do. Just get rid of that Hanar. Has the CSEC officer been assuaged? I'll keep working on it. This one will continue to spread its message.
In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. Commander Shepard, here with the Alliance Military. First time on the Citadel, that about right? How did you know all that? I'm the CSEC Requisitions Officer. I need to make sure our buyers are authorized. So, will you be purchasing anything today, Commander Shepard? Show me what you've got. Excellent. I hope you find what you're looking for. Uh-huh, we can buy armor. Hey there! 
Oh, you're not CSEC, are you? Did you want something? What were you trying to explain to the officer before? My colleague is trying to kill me, and I thought we were friends. How do you know he wants you dead? He's changed. He won't talk to me at work anymore, and he started following me. Yesterday, he followed me all the way home, just waiting for a chance. I don't care what anyone thinks. He wants me gone. I know it. Is there something I can do? Talk to your friend, maybe? Would you? That's all I want. Someone to talk to him. Tell him to leave me alone. He thinks he can just push me around, but you'll show him, won't you? Just tell me where he is and I'll go find him. Oh, right. Well, he wanted to meet with me down in the wards near the markets. He said he just wanted to talk, but I know better. His name's Shorban. He's a Salarian. You shouldn't have any trouble. He's just a scientist. Shorban? That's the guy who asked us to scan the Keepers. The Keepers? Well, even more reason to go after him. That's against regulations. I better look into this right away. Find out what he's up to. Anything's possible with Shorban these days. Well, good luck! Level up. <laughs> Just by checking terminals. Good way to get the experience. Oh, six points. I level three. And I think armor is again good. Restore support portion of your seals even while you are under fire. Adrenaline burst. Reset school down time so your talent so they can be used immediately. Maybe I take this one. Increases health by. I just take wood, but because we are now in city, maybe I take one charm. Then one shoulder. And one is a rifle. Of course, sometimes you need to close range combat. 
So maybe I maybe I need also this one. Four points. Increases the amount of formicare recovered. Let's you use the reduction skills. I think this is useful. Ah, increases squad healing. Reduces the cooldown of biotic and tech talents. Okay, let's put this one. And then a little bit barrier. And then Ashley. I think Ashley with the animation he was very good with the pistols, so maybe I continue with this one. Increase pistol damage and accuracy. Then a little bit more armor. Resort training. Okay, level 3. Uh, maybe, maybe I think this might be good, good stopping point. So, this is actually Legend Mass Effect Legendary Edition for time playing. So, this was part of the PlayStation Plus February three games. Uh, legendary ed edition actually contains Mass Effect 1, Mass Effect 2 and Mass Effect 3. So it, it actually contains the trilogy, all of those three games. And I, I want to thank you and th thank you for everyone for stopping by and visiting so I think this is good stopping point and later continue on